Hey, what's up? Dillinoy on the mic. Oh, we got two cat versus Blitz. Starting out on FD, I wonder how that exchange went. Um, usually Fox doesn't want to start on FD, so and as when you're in the counter picking, you don't have to go to any stage that you don't want to. Um, so, especially not your worst stage, like some would say this is for Fox, but maybe Blitz just wants to like get get the worst stage out of the way, or like you know just like take some pressure off. You hear some people talk about doing that, like some uh, like top level players. So maybe that's what's going on, and he does take the first stock there. So. So yeah, Blitz seems pretty confident with the grab game against Marth. Um, that's going to be really useful if uh, Marth has to respect your grab game, then it makes it a lot harder for Marth. Um, if he doesn't have to respect your grabs, then you don't have a lot of punish on him until like later percents as the Fox. So. But yeah, he's getting those up throw up airs, so that's going to be huge, that's such a big swing in the matchup. Um, Oh, all right. Picks out that recovery. Good edge guard by the Marth. There was a lot of different ways that Fox could have gone right there, uh, and that one was kind of a tricky one. But the Marth still covered it. So, and yeah, Two Cat has the chain grabs. That's going to be a big factor on this stage for sure. And if they go to Stadium later, uh, yeah. So that got Fox up to like mid percent, so he can really start to open up the punish game when it comes to like up tilts and stuff like that, so. But yeah. Uh, 2Cat going for a lot of those like falling aerials and like Blitz is just ready. He's just like not overextending and going in and getting hit by those things. And that's really, really smart. Um, yeah, taking that stock there. So this counter pick seems to be working out actually. <laughs> I mean, we'll see how the rest of this game goes, but like, definitely not a wash in the favor of the Marth, like you might expect. Like, like we can see ha happen sometimes in this matchup. But. Oh, missed that edge guard. But yeah, Marth isn't, or the Fox isn't getting pushed off the stage enough for it to just be like an easy edge guard for the Marth. And so, uh, Blitz is doing a good job of just like mixing up recoveries, so it's actually not super brain dead in order to get that edge guard. Oh. Cleans it up. Cleans up the edge guard even though there's a little bit of a flub. It's okay, it happens. Oh, baits out a spot dodge there. Yeah, Tukat really wants to get the grab game going here at early percent. You can see he's going for it and just like trying to keep Fox in the corner. Goes for a haymaker there with the F smash. Let's see if he'll recover. Oh, yep. Dolphin Slash just like pushes Fox out of the way just enough. Gets the tipper over there. You kind of want the non-tipper one because yeah, the tipper one pops up Fox and then he has like another chance to recover. Oh, I'm stick. It's such a dicey situation right now. What the heck is going on? What the heck, guys? All right, Marth comes out on top. So, oh, that was actually a pretty good swing on the Marth's part. Because if you guys remember, he was like low percent, two to three stock, and now last stock on game one for FD. Oh, overextend! Just the smallest overextend, dude. That's FD. Tiny overextend takes like only 30 damage. Not that bad, but he's in a bad stage position here, and he might pay for it if the Marth can get this edge guard. Kevin, I mean Blitz, fights his way back to mid stage and now it's like even all over again. Their percents are really close. I'm betting these dudes are nervous right now to be honest with you. Like this is probably a nerve wracking situation. Especially as a Marth. Oh, alright. The down air jab up smash gonna take it. So that takes a lot of pressure off the box for the rest of the set. Because now you don't have to worry about FD and like making tiny errors and getting punished big time for it. Oh, what's up? Seeing people in the chat. This is melee. This is indeed melee. Harry, I don't know how many people are signed up for ultimate right now. Maybe like 
six or seven? There's like six or seven for every bracket at the moment. Alright, yeah, Tukat goes for the <clears throat> stadium counter pick. Surprised he didn't go back to FD. Maybe he wasn't feeling like uh, the punish game was enough for him there. This will be good because you don't have to be as precise with the grab game as Marth. You can kind of just like use the platforms to your advantage in punish game and get like up tilts and stuff. It's probably why you picked this stage. And I'm pretty sure we do have transformations on. That's going to come into play because Fox definitely benefits from those a lot of the time. And I know Blitz knows how to take like use those to his advantage he just did it to me in bracket like five minutes ago but oh all right yeah he uses the platform for his combo there that's exactly why he picked this stage and then <laughs> yeah there's the benefit for fox just kills so early dude Oh, oh, what an air dodge. Air dodge is right past Two Cat's attempt to edge guard him. Gives the fox another lease on life. And all this percent is like he, he might not have gotten this if he just got it, got edge guarded right there. It's a pretty big swing for Blitz. Any damage he gets here is great. Nice. Good adaptation. Doesn't still doesn't quite get the edge guard though. Blitz's Fox is really good at recovering. He's very tricky about it. It's one of his biggest strengths, I think. And that's usually something that Marth exploits in this matchup, so. You just have to go the extra mile to edge guard Blitz's Fox, I think, sometimes. Like really take away the option from him. Let's see what he does here. He Oh, he tries to go for that thing he went for last game, and it didn't quite work this time. He didn't have the timing down on it. Oh, just box him out. Let's see if he can take this stock. He's at 204%. Alright, there he goes. So in terms of percent, like, you know, Tukat might even be up on this game. It's just like, it's really the, um punishes and like taking out the stocks that he's gonna need to unlock here edge guarding especially but to blitz's credit he doesn't make it easy to flow chart him oh yep and then <laughs> they're gonna fight in the pit that actually doesn't quite work out yeah exactly that's the fox on those transformations he's just crazy Alright, they're gonna go for cheese against each other. <laughs> they're either not gonna fight or they're gonna cheese each other right now. That's all they're looking for. Oh, taking a couple smash attacks. Three smash attacks! Fox using every smash attack in the game right now. <laughs> Just going for smash attacks. It's working out for him. Crazy guy. He's fighting to be the best at scrambles this tournament, that's what he told me before. Oh, that was so dank. Oh no! Fox lives there, this is rough for Marth. Hopefully he lives, but he's gonna have a, a lot, a big mountain to climb, honestly. And yeah, this is, this is wild. Uh, looking like Blitz might take this set, you know, he wasn't even at the last tournament and uh, Tukat was in grand last time so this would be somewhat of an upset definitely in terms of seeding all right but this last stock so this is hype the nerves can come in it's cold in this venue it is just prime spaghetti territory and martha's unlocking his punish he's still alive transformation coming on the water transformation this is not a terrible one um, for Marth versus Fox, but anything that Blitz does right now is going to kill the Marth. And as you can see, he's going for like crazy up smashes and even an up tilt will do it. And Blitz is gonna take that set, dude. What the heck? GG's, guys.